Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Brittany Bear Makeup here. If you guys are new, then you are in for a treat. So today, I have my beautiful model, Emily, here, and I'm gonna leave her Instagram in the description below so you guys can follow her. I'm going to be doing a beautiful, gorgeous, bronzy glam step-by-step -step on her today. I'm gonna show you guys how to do it, so hit that subscribe button, guys, turn on those post notifications, and keep on watching as we do a full glam transformation. You are now, now rocking with Brittany, bitch. All right guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and begin with the first step, which is gonna be primer. And for today, I'll be taking my Born This Way concealer and I'm gonna be using this to prime her eyelids. So I'm gonna have her close her eyes and just go in and prime any discoloration that we have and make sure that we give it nice smooth surface so we can apply our eyeshadow to. So just going in, I'm patting the product in and just making sure that I have a nice clean base. All right guys, so the first step to this eyeshadow look that we are gonna do is going to be taking our nice bronze palette. This one is the Man Eater palette from Tarte Cosmetics, and it has some really pretty rich brown shades in it, which I'm gonna use on her to create a beautiful smoky brown eye today. So picking up a BH Cosmetics number seven brush, I'm gonna go into the color Saucy, because she's gonna look saucy at the end of this. And we're gonna go ahead and place this into the crease of our eyelid. So I begin by packing the color on, just to give it placement, and then I'm gonna buff it into her eye. So I'm packing it into the crease and just making sure that I have it exactly where I want it to be prior to blending out any of the product. And then taking that same brush, I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna begin buffing and blending out the eyeshadow. So I'm going back and forth in windshield wiper movements and making sure that everything looks nice and flawless. So once I've gone ahead and I've applied the product exactly where I want it to be, I'm gonna go in with another brush. So this is a BH number eight brush, and I'm gonna go back into the same Tarte palette and pick up the color Midnight. And I'm gonna pack this onto her eyelid. So going in, I'm pressing the pigment in to create a nice brown smoky eye. So going back into that same first brush that I use, I'm gonna be blending out both those colors to create a nice cohesive smoky look. All right guys, so now that I've finished off the smokiness, I'm gonna go in with a really pretty shimmer pigment. And I thought for this, I was gonna go into the Dose of Colors Desi and Katie collab. I just love this beautiful like bronzy shade. I think it's gonna look gorgeous on Emily. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a brush. This is once again a BH number nine brush. And then I'm gonna go into the shade and I'm gonna pack this onto her lid. As you guys can see, this is so pigmented and the color just looks so gorgeous on her, it's gonna make her eyes pop. So packing it onto the lid. All right guys, so once I went ahead and I finished off her eyeshadow look, I'm gonna go with a clean makeup wipe and just clean up any excess fallout that I have underneath her eyes. So I'm just gonna use this to shape the eyeshadow as well and give it a nice cat eye appearance. All right guys, so this is my favorite part of doing makeup. Like I legit live for this moment. This is foundation, concealer, and contour, and that is what we're gonna do on Emily. So I'm gonna be using my Ciate London foundation. I've shown you guys this in previous videos, and I'm so obsessed with the coverage of it. It's super hydrating on the skin, and it just looks so beautiful. And I'm gonna begin packing this onto her face. So I'm slightly pressing it in. We're gonna make her skin tone nice and even. Look at how gorgeous that coverage is. And honestly, guys, this foundation is so, so lightweight. Like, do you feel like you're wearing a lot of foundation? No, right? No. Out here trying to sell some foundation. <laughs> like, you would think it's my brand and it's not. I'm like, go pick it up at your local Walmart. All right, guys, so I'm blending this in. And I'm gonna make sure that I bring the foundation down on her neck so that she doesn't have two different colors going on. All right guys, so now that I've gone ahead and I've applied the foundation, I'm going to then conceal her. I'm so excited to show you guys this concealer because Glam Tech Steven actually used it on me when I did my uh, photo shoot for my secret project. I had to like bump in to the video for a second. And I was obsessed. So this is the Fenty Beauty Concealer. I'm gonna start with the shade 270, which is like a really warm pink shade. And I'm gonna use this to kind of conceal her under eyes and any darkness that she has going on underneath. So I'm gonna begin by packing the product on. I'm gonna go onto the other side as well. And I'm actually gonna carry this down to her lower lip area. I'm gonna apply a little bit onto her chin as well as the lower part of her forehead. And then I'm gonna go in with the same concealer in a different shade. So this is 120 and it's a very, very light color. So I'm gonna use this mostly to highlight her face. I'm going to layer this on top of that. I'm gonna carry this on the bridge of her nose. 
her cupid's bow, lower part of her chin, as well as the lower part of her forehead. And I like to carry it in on the sides of her nose just to create the illusion that her nose is a little bit slimmer even though she already has a perfect nose. All right guys, so now that I've gone in with my concealer, I'm going to add my contour. And this is the Tantor from Huda Beauty in the shade Light. So going in with a BH brush, a number seven brush, I'm gonna start at the bottom part of her cheekbone and I'm gonna draw a straight line. I'm gonna brush it upwards a little bit. The same thing on the other side as well. I like to also contour the bottom part of the lip just to create shadows for her, as well as the jawline. And this is like the perfect color to contour. I feel like this one works really good on olive complected people as well as lighter skin tone people. So I'm loving the shade Light from the Huda Beauty series. I'm gonna go on her forehead and just add a little bit of bronze. And then we are going to add some shadows to her nose. So I'm gonna add it to the tip of her nose and then slightly give her a nice contour. Alright guys, so here are all the areas that I highlighted and contoured. As you guys can see, snapshot this. This is basically what I do on myself as well as clients. So we are now going to blend it out. Alright guys, so taking my damp beauty blender, I'm going to go in and I'm going to start by blending out her under eyes. So I'm just slightly tapping the product in and making sure that I'm not over blending. This is an actual thing. Like some people put so much concealer on and then they just blend it all out to where it doesn't even look like they have anything going on for themselves. So you wanna make sure that you still keep her under eyes light and you keep that area bright just like where you placed the highlight. All right, so now that I've gone ahead and I blended everything out and I'm really happy with the shadows and the highlights of her face, I'm gonna go in with translucent powder. So I'm gonna be taking my Huda Beauty translucent powder in the shade Cupcake and I'm gonna begin by placing this to all the areas that I highlighted on her face. So we're gonna start with her under eyes, the chin area as well, as well as underneath the contour. I also like to apply it on the bridge of her nose just so that it can absorb any moisture and get it ready for the contour that we're about to do. All right, so now that I've gone ahead and I've applied the setting powder, I'm gonna let it absorb on her face for a couple minutes while I go in with my bronzer. So you guys already know I'm obsessed with my Hoola bronzer. It's just like the perfect, most universal color for anyone's makeup. And I'm gonna take an e.l.f. brush. This is the angled blush brush. And I'm gonna re-contour out her cheekbones, redefine everything and make sure it's nice nice and sculpted. So I'm tapping the product in, giving her some crazy Maleficent cheekbones. I'm gonna go ahead and brush it around the rim of her forehead as well, very lightly, just to warm up the rest of her face. I'm gonna carry it on her lower jawline, and I'm gonna repeat the same step onto the other side. All right, so I'm gonna quickly contour her nose. As you guys can see, she already has a very thin nose, but it's not gonna stop me from adding a little extra Britney Bear touch. So I'm gonna be taking my brush from my collaboration with Morphe and going into Hula once again, and I'm gonna start at the inner corner of her eyebrow and drag a straight line down the side of her nose. And then I'm gonna go on the tip of her nose and I'm gonna add the same product to shorten it in length. Now I'm gonna go on the other side and repeat the same step. Then I'm gonna go into my Hello Flawless powder and I'm gonna take this light ivory color and go in with my brush and draw a straight line down the center as a focal point to really make it look super snatched and small. So then going in with that same powder, I'm just gonna grab a BH5 brush and I'm going to begin just kind of buffing this in so there's no harsh lines. So after I've gone ahead and blended everything out, I'm gonna go back into this palette and I'm gonna take the color Cookie, which is like this gorgeous highlighter, and I'm gonna use this to highlight the bridge of her nose. So just using my finger, I'm gonna go ahead and highlight the tip as well as the bridge. This is gonna create the illusion that her nose is slimmer and just bring all of that attention just to the center of her nose. All right guys, so now that I've gone ahead and I've applied that, I'm gonna go off camera to add her eyebrows. I don't wanna waste your time with that. And when I come back, we are going to finish off this beautiful bronzy glam. All right, so I'm gonna go in with my Joey. This is a blush palette, and I'm gonna be using the color Hot Coral, which is like a beautiful soft pink shade. And then I'm gonna be applying this to the apples of her cheeks as well as blending it into the contour, just to give her a nice, beautiful, youthful pop of color on her cheeks. And then repeat the same thing on the other side. All right guys, so I'm gonna go in with my Salon Perfect Lashes. These are 661 and they're super wispy and pretty. I'm gonna have you look down. Then on to the other side. And then I'm gonna go ahead and apply mascara to both her real lash and the false lash to make sure that they're nice and even and blended. 
All right, guys, so we're gonna finish off today's look with a lip liner. So I'm gonna go in with my Sweet Tea Lip Liner from Morphe, which you guys already know is legit like my favorite lip liner. And I always like letting other people lip line their lips because they always know the shape that they wanna go for and if they wanna overline, that's up to them. So feel free, girl. So I'm gonna be applying this lipstick on her. This one is called Sunny Side from ColourPop, and it's like a beautiful pink nude color, so I think this is gonna look really good on her. So I'm gonna apply a little bit in, and then we're gonna blend it out. All right guys, so that concludes today's tutorial, this beautiful bronzy look on my model, Emily. I'm so obsessed with how it turned out, guys. Make sure you guys comment down below and let me know if you guys wanna see more looks like this. With that being said, guys, I wanna give my huge post notification shout out to my girl, Alejandra. Thank you so much for having your post notifications on. If you guys want a post notification shout out, all you guys have to do is turn them on and comment when done. Thank you guys for watching today's tutorial. Don't forget to like, share, and comment down below, and I will see all of you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.